hey what is happening what is going on welcome back to the channel so what i'm going to do in this video is going to be a little bit different i'm not going to do materials i'm not going to do that kind of stuff what i'm going to do is show you how to incorporate ai and create some interesting artworks really easily and realistic cool and hopefully this opens up your mind to using ai because a lot of people are against it i myself was in the beginning but once i got into it and i incorporated in blender a lot i just want to show you one way to do it and there's many more other ways you can create materials with it you can create like textures you can create cool abstract things i can do that in a future video i can show how to do that kind of stuff but this one's going to be a basic one what i'm going to do is use mid journey and then show you what we can do with it so let's jump into mid journey actually let's create the scene first so i'm going to delete this and just before i start creating let me just do the plane quickly so shift a mesh plane s scale it up to somewhere like that now with mid journey obviously you got to pay it's like either ten dollars a month or it goes up to like 30 60 and yeah there's other ai things you can use like playground ai you can probably do the same thing but i use mid journey it's probably one of the better ones to use um but yeah you can try that for free you just need discord but later on in the video i'll show you how to use it so first thing i want to do is we're just going to create like a field so tab right click subdivide click here make this about 80. then you want to stay in edit mode you want to select proportional editing then we just want to create like some bumps and that kind of stuff so click here and then go to g roll your scroll wheel make it pretty pretty big create something like that click here zoom in hit g bring it up actually make it a bit flatter this g make it a bit smaller this one so we can make it a bit higher something like that let's click here so i'm watching this as well and then bring this up yeah g you can see we're now creating a little bit of interesting geometry that you can create here g is make this bigger and here we go now i've got a camera we just created like an interesting looking field whatever if you've got a tab looks like that and then what you can do is i'll add grass in it no no but you can add like an hdri so go to yeah this is just the polyhaven add-on okay you can download these all from polyhaven and do it like manually and then if i go here to look you can see this is what it looks like now it's let's say we want to create like a like a nice background instead of using this so we've used this to light the scene but now let's use mid journey so what you do go to window let's go here now i'm going to go into mid journey i imagine and then you say clouds on a bright sunny day blue sky okay and then hit let's go here ar 16 by 9 and then let it load you can see this is what comes up and then what you can do is you can select let's go with this one so you go to two and this is what comes up you can click on it and then save it save it under documents and then you can exit this you can go back to blender and now if you've got let me just close this and if you've got this add-on so go to preferences add-ons and type in images planes check it and then you can go shift a go to image go to images as planes and this you can bring in select it and then go s scale it up x and then g 
bring it here. Back to camera is bring it in here. And you can see it's starting to get somewhere. So you can always bring this G. Something like that. Something like this and then change your camera. So I'm just going quickly on this, so it's not going to be perfect. So you'll see now. And now if I add grass, so I click here. Just do this. And then I'm just going to go with polygonic. And then boom, grass with flowers. And now, let's have a look. You can see what you can always do is always click here, click on the plane and go G and bring it all the way back. So the further you bring it back, S, scale it up, G. The better it'll look. G, you can bring it all the way here, just so where it just starts to. And you can see it obviously doesn't look perfect, but what you can always do is if I go, yeah, it's all about trial and error, so it depends on the image you get. You can see, you can always change, go back to window, you can go back to mid journey, you can go, imagine blue sky with clouds, yeah, yeah. open field with grass and then boom AR 16 by 9 enter and you can see this one's loading it's going to be a lot better you'll see what I mean now basically what we're going to do is we're going to use any of this part and then cover this with our grass so you'll see what I mean now let's just let it load let's pick one that looks the best almost done okay then let's pick this one so u3 select it and save it okay and let's go back to blender boom change this go shift a image image as planes let's bring this one in now yes let's get it up then go yeah g bring it back Boom, S, G, and now let's have a look. Okay, so you want this. So what you want is just this, S, scale it up, G. A bit smaller. And bring it forward. G, somewhere like that. There we go. And you can see you can create some awesome clouds. And you can always just bring it. You can click on it. See, and you can change like this. And you can see if I render it, I'm just going to change this. And then change this. Make it a bit less. And then go F12. And there we go. You can see how nice it looks. You can add trees. And you can add a few other things. So this is. An awesome way to add your own clouds sky texture without having to download things because you know copyrights and all that kind of stuff so cool way to use ai in blender hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe check out the patreon see you in the next video peace